Paul Krugman. Not wholly wrong, but pretty close. This is his article about Social Security. Paul Krugman today, early November 2022, still defending the way it is. That means keeping the retirement benefit as effective at age 65, even though it will bankrupt the system. Now, the system's bankrupt anyway. It'll just bankrupt it even sooner than having a 70 years old threshold. 68 would help a little bit. 70 is absolutely appropriate, and here's why. When the founders of the Social Security program in the 1930s convened and set an age, age 65, average male life expectancy was 61. Okay, this is for people who had outlived their life expectancy and would have something to still go on. Now, there are many other ways of people retiring in the first place with income, okay? That's pensions, that's savings, that's investments, and thus, and by the way, a lot of people can work part-time without exerting themselves. There's no such thing as a right to retirement with zero, zero obligations. It's a nice privilege, but it's certainly not a right. And if you keep the age where it is, you dash everybody else because the younger generations that are paying these older people will have zero. Okay, this is a certainty if you don't change the way it goes that by 2040, okay, that's now only 18 years away, there will be zero money for the people retiring. You have to change it. Now, my proposal would be to abolish it. There should be no Social Security, okay? There's so many other ways for people to save other than the government investing your money for you. And it's not even investing your money. It's using your money to pay other debts. There's no lockbox. There's no sudden safe that opens 40 years later when you want to retire. No, you're pulling from a younger generation of people that are going to be unable to pay. They might just rebel. Um, they certainly aren't going to pay a confiscatory rate, something on the order of 40% of their earnings just for Social Security. It's 15.6% now. Tolerable. 40? Intolerable. The system will die. We should kill it off now. It would be more fair. We can still pay everybody who has paid in. We can offer a benefit to people who've paid in partially and don't want to see anything more, but they want some of their money back now. Great deal all around. Let people choose. Krugman doesn't see that. I still think he has blinders in so many fiscal ways. It's amazing he's still a touted columnist, but that's the New York Times. I am Mark Greenstein. Thanks for listening in.